Our fascination with space has long fueled innovation here on Earth. Eagle, we got you now. It's looking good, over. Everything from Teflon, digital photography, solar panels, even powdered food owes a debt to the 1960s space race. I'm gonna step off the limb now. And the same is true today with our latest astral obsession, traveling the 55 odd million kilometers to Mars. Take Danish company Aquaporin, founded 15 years ago by Peter Holm Jensen, who set about solving one of space travel's greatest problems. The way that uh, we treat water uh, in space today actually does not allow us to go to uh, Mars. So we really need new water types of water treatment for uh, deep space uh, exploration. Jensen and his team developed a technology to filter and reuse every bit of water in space, from moisture in the atmosphere to the astronaut's urine. They've mimicked and perfected a process that's been filtering water on Earth for billions of years. Aquaporins are proteins found in all living cells. They regulate the absorption of water in our bodies, in trees, in fact, in all living organisms. They act like a channel that only allows water to go across the cell membrane. This channel is so narrow that only water can go across, leaving all other elements behind. The aquaporin's filtration system has already been tested on the International Space Station. One day, it might even provide water to astronauts bound for the Red Planet. But its greater impact will likely be felt closer to home to deal with a growing clean water crisis. I think the aquaporin inside technology can be an essential building block in providing a clean and affordable drinking water and also treat industrial wastewater. Industrial wastewater is a massive problem. According to the United Nations, the textile dyeing industry is the second largest polluter of water globally. Tested in Europe and Asia, the aquaporin system can filter 95% of hard dye before the water is released into nature. It hopes that in the future, its technology could even make treated wastewater drinkable. It's easy to dismiss our fascination with space as an expensive folly, but NASA says since 1976, there's over 2,000 commercial spin-offs from its space program already benefiting life on Earth. And for Danish company Aquaporin, while purifying water for a handful of astronauts was the dream, improving the quality of life for millions might just turn out to be the reality.